so you were at KW for 21 years, mm-hmm. you know, six market centers, you owned a region. What, what was, what were some of the biggest challenges that you had with that? Like, what were some of the, the, what were some of the pain points you had doing that? I mean, you know, cause I know you didn't start there. You, you, you were a realtor, like everybody else, probably buying and selling homes and working with buyers and selling all that stuff. And at what point did you start going into more of that direction management I, ownership? It was, it was, what happened was, I think just like all salespeople, I said, who's getting the money off the top? It was the owner. And it really took me till about, well, I had owned my first market center in 1989, but that was, uh, like I said, I had it for five years and I sold it and I was like, oh boy, I don't want to do that again. Then in the early 2000s, I noticed that I was working hard, right? It doesn't matter if you're in management, Jeff, you're working for somebody else, or if you're in sales, you're both, Mm -hmm. you know, it's hard. Yeah. Wait, these owners, they kind of go off to the Caribbean for a while. I don't get to see them. And that's the only way I thought I could get passive in my life. I could get passive income, income streams in my life was to own a real estate office. So in the early 2000s, within two years, I started six offices from scratch. Carmel, California, Cupertino, California, Palo Alto, California. These are these are very expensive towns to start offices. Mm -hmm. And then two in Texas and one on the East Coast, because I thought, wait, that's my way out. That's the way I could get out. That's the way I could retire. Well, guess what? It, it was it was just it was craziness. Yeah. It's like yeah. now, you know what I call owning a real estate office, Jeff, the 330 club. You know what that is? <laughs> no. You get to wake up at 330 every morning. Oh, man. Yeah. Because when you own it, when you're the owner of that office, doesn't matter if you're a small independent, big independent, I've talked to tons of them. I go, how do you like waking up at 3.30 in the morning? Because you're the owner, yeah. right? Now, think of this, that's all I knew. The reason I did that, that's the only way I saw in my mind that I could get, that I could get really out of selling homes or working for somebody. Yeah, and some freedom, yeah. Yeah.